Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my playthrough of the Explore the Night scenario. And this is a limited time scenario. It is considered hard. I'm going to go here and hit play now. I am going to do it with a new household I have already created. So it's in my library in a new save. So here is my household. It is a household of three. I have uh, Felicia Flores, who is engaged to Jack's story and his father, who is just a reskinned sim that I've used before, but this is the unplayed version, who is coming along. So we are going to, and I used an elder just in case to get the ghost. We need a ghost because sometimes elders can be easier for that. Fingers crossed we don't have to do that, but if we do, I will use Ambrosia to bring him back to life. But anyways, so we're going to hit play and go into the save. In case you're interested, here are my game settings. So I use full autonomy and the aging is only for the active household. I'm playing on a long lifespan and I have neighborhood stories off. Then for the environment, I'm using the eight day lunar cycles and Essentially, I'm using the default lunar cycle information. And for the seasons, we're going to change this to 14 days, but there are our seasons. We do have temperature effects off because I've had some glitchiness with that in the past. But uh, that's that. And then for the pack settings, we'll apply that. Uh, I pretty much have most of these things not. I have Sims don't begin opted out of fame. I have all the eco lifestyle stuff off. I have bust the dust off. I do have animal aging on. And right now, because I'm still new with the werewolves, I'm not limiting to them to Moonwood Mill. I may change my mind on that. But right now, that's what they're at. So I'm going to just, I don't probably need to apply any changes. We're going to start in summer. And I'll be back when they're back on, or when they are on their lot. So we're here and we are starting in Henford on Bagley. I'm already in build mode because I am going to place my edited version of this lot that essentially I've just created a pond and taken the existing landscaping and placed it down. And it starts um, with off the grid, simple living and reduce and recycle. So they have 17, 9, 4, 5 and it should still be the same if I did this properly. Oh, no, something cost a penny. <laughs> Something cost a simoleon. I don't know what cost a simoleon. I have no idea, but whatever. <laughs> I don't really know what it would be. And saying that we're in a green neighborhood. Now, I did do a poll, and we are going to start with nothing for them. So I will have to turn cheats on to do that. And then we'll go over the goals, which I did go over in my video where I just touched on the um both of the two new time limited scenarios what the goals were so let me turn cheats on which is testing cheats on or testing cheats true are the two that i see commonly used for that now i'm going to type money zero to set their money to zero and i have no idea like i said what was the simoleon <laughs> at all but uh it's still worth pretty much the same and they don't have the ability to fish here yet they will need to earn the money to buy the fishing sign all i did was place the pond and like i said it comes with a lot of landscaping on the lot and i moved it apart from this tree and i think i left a couple of things back there so it's just a an easier way for me that i don't have to worry about building a pond when i'm playing so here are the goals we need to stay awake for five days which they say to stock up on sleep replacement potions and even coffee you have to befriend a ghost and invite them to join your household. That's probably going to be my one that I'm going to struggle with the most. Brew and drink coffee. You got to drink a sleep replacement potion. You've got to work at night shifts for three days. So those were criminal career, entertainer, a culinary mixologist, or a part-time babysitter, fast food employee, or retail employee. And acquire the night owl trait. And then we have to order a drink at a night club lounge or a bar at night which obviously we have no money right now so we can't do any of that and of course they start with this moodlet for five days i wonder if i change this to a tiny lot if that would double it and i did kind of wonder if it even does anything if you played this scenario already let me know if that did anything for your scenario your sims or sim 
if you used one sim in the scenario. Now I'm going to start and create a club for them. I'm going to go into the social groups, which we're going to switch over to the clubs. I will set that up and I'll uh, be back instantly for you. But you know, in a few minutes when I'm done that. So I have set it up and there are three of them are in it and I've done my usual be friendly with everyone, be funny with everyone, clean and I often use fish. I don't always use it, but it's there. So she actually has this wants to become a master mixologist and I'm not sure as a culinary mixologist. Yeah, I, I'm going to probably not get her that job for now. We're going to actually have our elder get a part time job or maybe even um, Jax. But I think I'll go with Alice as the elder. Um, not that because he's an elder, just because I don't have anything specific that he needs to do or wants to do. And I'm going to see whether maybe she gets her. She may probably not in the time we do this. <laughs> she might get a job offer, which would start her at a higher level than at the starting one. Or she gets enough points that I can get her connections and then she would get the job. So we're going to start this gathering because that is also another way to make it easier to keep your sims up is once you get enough points to get that rally the uh, troops perk, then you can do it like that. So she wants to buy an easel, which we will do, and she wants to buy a bar, which we'll consider, but not right now. They have no money to do anything. So let's see if there are any odd jobs that we can maybe do, or maybe we should just go into the um, Finchwick town and try and do some errands there and then decide who might be best to do an odd job so that we have the money so that we can get a little bit of a house going for them. <laughs> that would be good. And painting would be an easy way to get some money more quickly. Since much as we're starting with nothing, we do want to also focus on trying to get some of this stuff done. I might add the drink coffee to here once we actually have a house and it makes sense. Right now, it doesn't really make much sense. And um, okay, so Let's just for the fun of it. So he has the computer whiz aspiration. I didn't really talk about their traits. So I don't want to go for that. So he's a geek, an animal enthusiast, genius, and he's a quick learner from that um, computer whiz aspiration. Let's then move along to Felicia. She is also a geek. She's creative and a bookworm, and she has essence of flavor because she has a master mixologist aspiration, hence why she has the whim for getting a bar. And then Alice is also a genius. He loves the outdoors and he's an animal enthusiast. So he and his son are both animal enthusiasts and he's a collector because he has the freelance botanist aspiration. But we're going to switch him over to the country caretaker one. But actually, we're going to switch them all over to that because we're going to head over, like I said, to Finchwick, where we're going to see if we can get any errands that we might like to do to earn us some money. And then I'll also do some um, nature uh odd jobs with one or the other of them and then we will once we've got that set up then we'll have alice join one of those uh careers that they're saying for the night shifts because i'm guessing because of course i haven't done this <laughs> that even though, that if i'm using it with three that when any of them do the things that will count for it but uh but we need one of them to stay awake at least for the five nights which i'll probably just try and keep them all awake for the five nights that we need to do but it might be hard on the first night unless we get the 500 points really quickly to get it done so i'm going to take them there and i'll be back well we're here in finchwick and what i thought i would do after all is i'm not going to actually have our ellis be the one who does the part-time job since it's not likely that felicia will have the points to get collections or have a great reputation anytime soon she is going to be the one to join the career the part-time career so the sh night shifts were babysitter fast food employee or retail employee okay so that's what we're going to look for one of those i'm not going to bother having her start an actual career until like i said she gets connections or whatever so we're going to look for part-time. So babysitter is seven. Oh, but we can't do that. I would think we would need the six till 12 because we need to have the nighttime shift. <laughs> uh, fast food employee was five till nine. Or again, I think we'd need the nighttime shift. And then the other one was retail. 9 a.m. till one or six till 10. 
So 6 to 10, and I think, and that's 33 an hour. 7 to 1. Hmm. No, that's AM. 6 to 12. You make a lot more, but I think I'd rather work less hours, to be quite honest. So we're going to go with the retail employee. And she starts Tuesday. I do have holidays set up, so I'm going to have to send her to work because she's by default not going to go. But anyways, let's go check out. Let's have Alice go do some fishing right now. And maybe he'll catch some fish. And that would be good. And you know what? She may as well go do some fishing too. So go fishing. And then you're going to go fishing. And maybe, maybe you're just going to go here. And then you can fish with him perhaps. And that might help build your relationship. Let's put you on to Angling Ace. I don't know if I did the same. I did with him already. So I traveled via the uh, other neighborhoods and went back home so that I could get this to count for them. So we're going to go here. And right now we're going to set her, set him on Friend of the World. Probably should be setting her on Friend of the World and she should be introducing herself to people. So we're going to do a friendly introduction. Oh, and we already have 500 points. Yay. <laughs> that's what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and earn some points, right? So that we can buy the things that we need to get. Who's so about a new show? And why don't we offer help with errands? <laughs> Hopefully we can get that coming up soon. And we're going to do the too busy one right now, I guess. This is a good one, but we need to earn some money to do it. I think we're going to skip. We're going to skip it for now. We'll come back and get to that. So, oh, look. Okay, we're going to come here and we're going to go here. Because I find sometimes if you say to do a friendly introduction, they'll leave. I don't want her to leave. I want her to stay where she is. Not that it matters that much. We need the Lavinia. We need the mayor to go and introduce ourselves. Because hers is one that you can do... And it costs nothing. Some of them require... Okay. Oh, and it was Lavinia. Speak of Lavinia. Okay, you were heading over to Lavinia. Where is she? Because obviously she was around because you were going to go meet her. All on your own. Hmm. Well, also then fishing will help us build our points. So we're going to ask about career. And... We'll... Heartfelt compliment. We'll offer help with errands, even though we need a bit of money for her. But maybe we'll catch some fish we did that we can sell for some money and make a little bit of money. So do I know you? Um, so we're going to do that one. And we need to find two single sims, which requires us to introduce ourselves to more people. <laughs> and preferably ones who are single. But these two are married so they're not going to be very much help for this part but we will actually come here and we're gonna talk to we'll get that part done i think we need to get a we have to buy a cheese which isn't expensive but we still need some money to do that <laughs> so but we have caught some fish so that works there's that holiday okay is there anybody all right let's see you are married so you're not really very helpful you are not married and you're a young adult so we can ask you if you're single <laughs> we can find a single if we can get to you where are you running away to my dear um oh well, we don't want to ask her if she's single because she's and they're married so <laughs> well look there she is i want to do an errand for her she's also single i'd rather introduce ourselves to um lavinia Hopefully we get to see her. Yes, she can like fishing. Okay. Let's... No, 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 no. We need to do this introduction. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, go on and catch up. <laughs> Stop talking to them, even though I need you to ask her if she's single. I need you to find Lavinia. So that we can ask, we can offer to do an errand for her, more importantly. And, okay, all right, so we did that, so we're going to ask about career, 
and enthused about new show, I suppose, and then offer. Uh, have a Hemford heart to heart, I suppose. And okay, I'm just gonna go hunting for it. Offer help with errands, and let's go check in on Felicia. She's fishing again. Good, and she's caught one fish. You have caught four fish. Very good. Maybe that's because so you want to share ideas. We're not buying that. <laughs> Uh, we have way more important things. You want to level up in fishing skill? Sure. We need to go fishing elsewhere so we can get those different locations. So you have not yet offered help with errands. So what we do want to do is this one. Well, I will do that one. Okay. Let's see what it is. What is that last? Have a hand for... Oh, look at that. That's a good one. That's easy. We're going to take a photo with. Um, we'll do it with uh, Lavinia. Sharon. Oh, and here's someone else. We need to introduce ourselves to him because we need to ask him. And we can have a Henford heart to heart with him too while we're at it. Let's not bother with this photo, I was going to say. Let's not bother with it, but maybe we will. Do we do that introduction? Yeah. Okay, bright and day. And... Friendly. Oh, we're gonna do that first. Ask about dreams. Maybe that... We'll see if that sticks. Okay, so this is just to try and build our friendship. <laughs> Very plain and simple. Try and build our friendship. Alright. So, let's ask him about dreams. And have a see if we can have a Hanford heart to heart. We might not be able to. Actually, we need to ask her if she's single. Romance. Ask if single. Okay. We got that. Uh, we talked about the dream, so we've got that part done. And then we need to go browse. It's still really early in the day. We can still browse. Um. Access of any berry, but find yourself in need of another. I hear the creature keeper is the one to see for a helpful trade. Yeah, I, I have never used that. I've never needed to use that. I find you can get the berries easily enough. Okay, can we uh, discuss grocery deliverer's dream? And we still need to... Uh, I don't know whether that this will count as a heart... <laughs> as one of those Hartford... <laughs> since it's with her, I don't know whether it'll count. But we're going to try. Alice is still. The Watson family used to own the entirety of the old New Hanford area, but over hundreds of years they've been selling off plots one by one. I wouldn't be surprised if half the headstones in the Finchwick Cemetery were Watsons. Okay. Oh, and no, it didn't count. Which I'm not surprised about. So, let's see. We discussed that. We need to browse. Gotta go to the bathroom. She oh here's another person we can ask. Did we get one of those ask if symbol single? Yeah, we found one. Okay, so let's come do a friendly introduction with Cecilia. And and also with Agnes. And then why don't we come here and browse by clicking on the buying. Let's see if we can at least get part of this done so that we're got part of these errands done before the next part. Before uh, we end this part, I should say. So he still hasn't caught that last fish. He was at four or five. Oh, but he's caught a electric kitchen upgrade part. Where is he at? Oh, two. He's got two of these. Okay, well, we're obviously not going to buy anything. We have no money. <laughs> but we, we did our browsing. <laughs> and that's what matters. And you're going to now come... Oh, look, we got... We have pumpkin stew. We have some food to eat. Okay, why don't we actually do a Henford heart-to-heart -heart here, since we're here. It'd be nice to get that money. Okay. So we got, the better the ingredients you use, the better your recipe will turn out. Either when she's got the greatest, her grocery store has blah, 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 whatever. Her grocery stall has the freshest ingredients or fresh ingredients to enhance any recipe. So... We still need a single sim. We can ask her. We're going to come here and romance, ask if single, so that we can find our second single 
sim. And has she caught any more fish? She caught two fish. So we're going to take these fish and we're going to give them to, to him so he can sell them. <laughs> so we can sell the fish to the... Uh, all of his, I think he's caught all his fish. We need to get him fishing in other locations, but I think there's only one location here. So we can't right now. Okay. So we're going to, after we <laughs> ask if single, uh, we have 508 points, so we can rally the troops. Yay on that. Yay for that. So we're going to come here and we're going to sell items because we can't buy anything till we sell. So let's at least get a little bit of money. So we're done with that part. So we're going to sell all of our fish we have in our inventory. We got 106 simoleons. Yay. And I think we're going to need a fish. Sorry, we're going to need a cheese, not a fish. So we're going to buy a cheese. And we'll also have enough money that we can go home. And we, he needs to go to the bathroom and buy a fishing sign. And since they've caught some fish, they'll be able to fish. So we're going to buy a cheese. And he's got to go to the bathroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually have Felicia come here. And she's going to go on to the leader of the pack aspiration and she's going to buy a club perk so we're going to buy rally the troops so that we don't have to sleep and we've already got that part done obviously that's not part of those goals but that's part of the goals for us trying to to sleep so they've been uh, club gathering for 12 hours six of the 12 hours i'm going to put her back because she's still trying to catch these fish and we're going to have him since he's not we're not going to worry about it we're going to have him come here and we can mentor. Why can he mentor? <laughs> We're going to rally the troops. You're going to stop fishing for now. Where did you get? Oh, I see. You did get that. You want to buy a bee box? Well, we might consider that. You're level three of fishing. You're going to try and rally the troops so that your son gets some help with going to the bathroom. So let's look here. We have to obviously report this gossip over here, but we're going to do that in the next part. So we have a little bit of money and we're about to get a little bit more. Yay. And we have our perk to be able to help us stay awake for those five days by being able to rally the troops. So we're, we got to start on this, but that's going to be it for this part. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!